and how it feels? I'll tell you. It feels like the middle of space, like floating alone. You're driving late at night on a deserted road, headed directly into a, a perfect dark that somehow gets darker. And the road and the woods, the sky, it all goes up into a huge gateway that's always open, just opening as you get there. The, the feeling of the steering wheel and the dashboard is all so familiar, so owned by you. The girl, <laughs> the victim, she's in the seat beside you, but you're more alone than if she wasn't there, you understand? You know, a lot of the guys will admit to this, but I feel we can be honest here, don't you? That victim owes you her breath. It's not hers anymore. Not from the moment she trusted you. Not from the instant she failed to protect herself. If you don't want her to breathe, if it gets to you at any point, what do you do? You kill her. That's not okay. Like so then you get out of the car and you stand there in the absolute darkness. And you feel a, a silence, a stillness that sounds better to you than any human voice you've ever heard. You can't remember your own voice, or that you ever had one. And then you think about that body still in the car, and the clothes still on it, and her bag on the floor of the car, and the things in that bag, and you decide what you want to keep, and what you want to throw away. You open the car door, and the only light is that tiny courtesy light that feels so out of place, and yet it guides you. It guides you through the back, and through those clothes. Anything you want is yours. Now you go and print that. That's what they want to read.